What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Bible Wisdom. Today is uh, Friday, the 27th. Um, it's about 6.30. Um, got done with work. There was traffic on the way home. And now I'm here. Before I uh, kind of get out of my work clothes, I'm going to make this video. Um, you know, the title of this video, I'm going to hopefully have the title of this video be um, don't envy the wicked you know basically let's first define the wicked the wicked is it's it's pretty much what I'm thinking um, is anyone that does not believe in Jesus so which is weird because sometimes people who don't believe in Jesus are not necessarily bad people you know they're not like criminals they're not necessarily like you know of course a lot of people do things in secret but you know a lot of people that you see you know you may not necessarily um consider them like the worst type of people but anyway you know to not believe in god and especially not necessarily believing in any god but the true god jesus um, you know, you're not really living a good life. You're ignoring the creator of the world. You're ignoring, you know, Jesus and you're ignoring truth. You know, Jesus said that he's the way, the truth and the life and your sins aren't forgiven. Of course, no, no one's good. There's no good people, you know, um, but through Jesus he gives us his righteousness. And so anyway, that's not really the focus of this video, but I wanted to just define the wicked. But also my point of this video, this is not going to be a super long video, but um, we are not supposed to mimic or envy the wicked. You know, um, a lot of times maybe a wicked person, an evil person may prosper what does prosper mean it means that you know sometimes maybe they have a nice car or a big house or um of course a, a godly person can have those things um but maybe they have you know a huge family you know a whole bunch of kids you know um like hannah like i made a video on hannah the other day um if you're interested in watching that but anyway Hannah you know not to necessarily say that um, the rival of Hannah was wicked but uh, Hannah was righteous and you know her husband had two wives and so the other wife she had a whole bunch of kids and Hannah didn't have any and so anyway sometimes evil people or wicked people you know they're doing things that it makes it seem cool you know it makes it it makes sometimes they're maybe having a party lifestyle or you know they have something that you might think is attractive and um you know i just wanted to make this video to say you know god has a lot of good things for us you know um heaven is going to be amazing you know anyone who sees heaven would want to be there you know i i just i just know it you know like it's not gonna be you know shabby you know um just think about it i mean earth god made earth and you know earth doesn't look half bad <laughs> so you know you know that the new earth the new heavens and the new earth is going to be so much greater you know god says in the book of Isaiah that uh, and I think it's around chapters the late 60s of the chapters uh, 64 65 um, he says that we won't even remember the old earth because the new earth is gonna be that good and so anyway you know um, God has so many good things for us and the Bible says that the hard things, the difficult things that we're going through now, you know, it's only just um, a, a little bit, a, a 
a light affliction. That's what the Bible calls it. The Bible calls it a light affliction. So what does that mean? That means that he and Paul, when he said that, he compares it to eternity. And he says, you know, this light affliction is only going to last a little bit. And then we go into eternity, you know. And so anyway, you know, don't mimic what the wicked are doing, you know. Um, maybe in a movie, you know, you see what they're doing and you think, you know, oh, that would be cool. Of course, you know, obviously there's going to be things that you can overlap that maybe a Jesus follower would sort of look the same. You know, we don't always have to wear a cross or, you know, um, even though we do, we have to bear our cross, but you know, as in like a chain or, um, you know, we, we, we don't always look like we're Christians necessarily, not like, you know, the Jewish people today where, you know, how some Jewish people, they look really Jewish. Like they're, they're making a statement with their clothing and their, their hair and their dress. And so, um, you know, David, David said, to look at their latter end, you know, look at when you see someone evil, you know, doing well and like prospering. And David said, look at their latter end, you know, their latter end is destruction. And of course, we want them to be saved. You know, we don't want anyone to perish. You know, we don't want anyone to choose that way of destruction. But I just wanted to let um, my YouTube followers know that God has good things for us as Christians and we don't need to ne be ashamed of being a Christian although you know sometimes I guess you know maybe you're looking for the right moment to tell someone you're a Christian or something but anyway you know, God has good things for us. You know, he is going to take away our pain. He's going to take away our sorrow. You know, he's going to make all things right. You know, um, he's going to bless us. And remember that Jesus said that he came to give us life and life more abundantly. You know, so the life of a Christian is going to be way more abundant than an unbeliever. Um, you know, and God is going to supply your needs. You know, I can tell you that, you know, I used to um, just be in a poor state of my health, you know, my mental health, my physical health. Um, and God has been working with me and bringing me into a better life. And, you know, I'm only 29 and God has already started working with me. And so you know, really choose Jesus today, you know, um, and, you know, don't keep company with the wicked, you know, you might feel like, oh, you know, I want to be like Jesus, but, um, you know, you have to be like Jesus in the right way and don't take it out of context because remember the Bible said that bad company corrupts good character. And so the bad that other people are doing, the bad conversation, the way that they talk can rub off on you and cause you to, um, you know, not be so salty. And so remember that Jesus, he wants us to be salty in that we are, um, you know, righteous and godly and, um, you know, um, being a salt of the earth. So anyway, hope you found this video helpful. Um, I hope that you, um, you know, really try to be like, you know, maybe picking a character in the Bible that you can try to be like, if you're a woman, maybe you can be like Hannah in the Bible, or maybe you can be like Sarah, you know, um, what does Sarah do? She, um, the Bible describes what Sarah did in the New Testament. Um, you know, Peter describes what Sarah did. Or you can be like, um, you know, a whole bunch of other men and women um, like Paul, if you're a guy or like, uh, you know, 
<clears throat> like Jesus himself, um, and then also like Peter, you know, they did good things. You know, David, even though there there are some mistakes that the Bible highlights, you know, obviously the Bible honors them because of you know their relationship with god so anyway um hope you uh uh found this video helpful and thanks for checking out my blog see ya